You guys remember a couple months ago when I said I was gonna turn my ugly basement into a studio? I wanna turn this into a studio space. Well, I kinda did. Here we are in my basement, my ugly basement. It's still ugly, but you might have noticed I'm kind of using it as a little video studio. So I sort of shot a vlog of the following long of getting this set up, but it wasn't really that interesting, so I kinda just scrapped it. <laughs> So instead, I'm making this video. I wanna share with you guys how it went, what I learned, what I regret doing, and what's left to be done. So first off, the obvious thing, the backdrop. I got a lot of comments about the backdrop in my last video, so I'm glad some of you guys are noticing it. So I got the Thunder Gray Superior Backdrop from Viztech. I mean, I can't complain, I think it looks pretty good. I have it mounted to the ceiling using the newer mounts. They seem to work pretty great. You can, uh, let me show you. And just like that, I have a concrete wall for a backdrop. Also, I should mention, those were a pain in the butt to set up. Ah, oh, screw off! I am so freaking mad! I have a really crappy drill and I could not get enough torque for the screws to go in. I pre-drilled holes and everything, just, it was rough. I'm getting a new drill for Christmas, hopefully. So I'm pretty happy with the way this looks, but the really important thing here is the lighting, which I actually got some new lights for the basement recommended by a friend, and why don't I let him talk a little bit about them? You guys might remember Danny. Thanks for coming. Well, thanks for having me. This is my friend Danny. What's up, guys? You might recognize him. <laughs> what video did uh, we talk? C300 versus red. Yeah, C300 versus red. Do you want to talk about what's in front of us right here? Yeah. So what we have here is the Quasar Science Q-Line Flex Kit, and it comes with in three different sizes, seven inch and one foot and two foot. I actually found out about these because, you know, when I was starting with my mirrorless DSLR and doing like corporate videos, wedding videos, product videos, and I wanted to get like a very decent light. When I was starting out, obviously I searched like, what are the best lights, like best yeah. lighting for video making, like on YouTube. And obviously everybody's talking about Aperture. So I got Aperture and I still use the Mark One till oh, this cool. day. And I, I, ha I changed the light dome to V2 though. Oh, okay. But it's still one of my favorite lights. I use it all the time. I love, I love my Aperture. Yes. Thanks Aperture. <laughs> Thank great. you. I love you. <laughs> but yeah, like I've been using it. I still use it daily. I use it on set sometimes. Like it's amazing. There's no such thing as the perfect lighting or the perfect camera. In different uses, you need like different tools to sure. get the job done. Totally. So I needed more lights for video making and I asked my gaffer friends, lighting technician friends, and I asked, how can I get a light that's affordable, but in a really good quality? And that's when they introduced me to the Quasar Science and Asteras. But Asteras were like $3,800. Oh. So I was like in a full kit. Yeah. I was like, I can't. I, I, yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford those. No. Quasar Science is what my gaffer friends introduced me to. Uh, for example, this four foot crossfade was one of my first light and it was only nice. uh, 200 US dollars. And for that, I was thinking, yeah, I can definitely afford that. Later yeah, 200 US dollars, that's like way cheaper than most lights. Yeah, I don't think you can really get like a really quality, no. good quality light for $200. Like they're definitely like very well, like respected lights in the, the film community. Actually, speaking of, that's the, uh, the first place I heard about uh, Quasars was in like the red camera, like Facebook oh. groups on, uh, on Facebook. Yeah, I, d I had absolutely no idea. Like as a, like I wasn't really in the film industry. Mm -hmm. I was just shooting stuff alone. Uh, with my DSLR, so um, for me it was such a like eye opener for me. And when I heard that the CEO is actually the gaffer of the Iron Man and Iron oh, Man sick. Two, that's so, awesome. Yeah, and I realized the whole staff at Quasar Science they're all like lighting technicians, gaffers, mm. you know, um, DPs. Right. They started the company all together because they needed something like this on set. Developed by the gaffers, it's very good, and I use it all the time. I always carry the seven inch one in my backpack wherever I go. Oh yeah. Yeah, just in case, because <laughs> like I can slap it on anywhere <clears throat> when I'm filming. Something. Oh yeah, these so these have like magnets on the back, right? Yeah. So you yeah. can like clip on on anything metal. Mm-hmm. And it's actually yeah. like some lights have magnets, but they're so weak that it like slips off if you put right. it on your side or something. But this one actually has a really strong magnet. Oh, whoa. That's very bright. Super bright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it comes in three different colors of 3000 and 4300 and 5600. So once you click it once, oops, okay, let me just go back. To, yeah, so it has three different colors. If you hold it, it changes the oh, color. Oh, you hold. There yeah, we go. You hold it. Oh, cool. And if you press it once, it thins down 100%, 75%, 50%, 25%, and then they turn it off that way. Tube lights are great, but it's hard to mount them. True. And if you don't have a proper grip equipment, uh, it's really hard to use it. Um, so these baby pins come in really handy. It goes right into the thread in the bottom, and then you can just screw it right on and 
I can smack people with it. <laughs> <laughs> smack people with fight. it. Yeah, these were like super handy because there's not a lot of like room down here. Like there's there's a bit of room, um, but also in the office, um, I have like almost no space in the office. Like I can barely fit the tiny um, uh, 120D dome box or sorry dome soft box. But uh, these lights, like you can pretty much put them in any footprint and good quality. And it's powerful enough to be a key light, and it runs about four hours in full. That's power. amazing. Four hours? Yeah, four hours. That's nuts. Yeah. So like for essentially under a thousand dollars, it's like what? 650, 750 yeah, 650 US? Yeah, 650 you can get three of these. You are getting essentially a three lighting setup. You have, we have one over here, one above us and one behind us. For that price, you can maybe get one nice light, but I mean, you can get three nice lights. <laughs> I like to be honest and just kind of like give like a honest user experience. And for me, at least, like when I got the frost cross fades, you know, I got the light, I opened the box and I was like, oh my gosh, these were used in Marvel movies. Right. I plug it in, it's super bright. And I tried to light myself, it did not look good. It was mm. so bright and it was harsh. And I was like, what am I supposed to do? And my gaffer friends told me, go to Home Depot build a dimmer. I never built anything like that before. So I actually learned from them and then I built my own dimmers for about like $35 each. It has like a dimmer switch oh, cool. and then I put the, yeah, and I brought it, brought one for you today so you can use That's, it. Yeah, I appreciate that. But That's honestly, <laughs> yeah, if you don't have a dimmer, it's actually hard to use them. So mm. yeah, like you get a light for 200 bucks for the four foot light. Now that's tube. for the crossfade. For the, the Q lines, like they dim. Oh yeah, they the, dim on their own. Yeah, so these can be great for your talking head and you can light, you can use it as a key light or practical. But at the same time, you know, I've seen a lot of people use this for like product photography and videography too. Oh yeah. Cool, well thanks for coming by, man. I appreciate you coming by with these lights and uh, showing me uh, kind of like how to make my ugly basement look decent. <laughs> well, it looks really nice now. Well, thanks to you. And we're back to Dark Shirt Matt. If you guys are interested in Quasar Lights, there's a link in the description that may or may not be an affiliate link. I'm not really sure. Maybe I can set that up. Probably not. These lights are awesome. I've already recommended them to like three of my friends. I would highly recommend trying them out for your setup. Here is a quick price breakdown of everything in this little studio. So the mount to hold the backdrop was $43 on Amazon. The backdrop itself was $90 at VizTech. The three Q-Lion lights from Quasar are $480 and one crossfade is $200. That gives us a total of $813. Anything else down here was stuff I already had. Oh, and the one thing I regret doing or not doing, I should say, measuring this distance properly. Yeah, I didn't do that. I had to do it twice. It sucked. Oh, screw off. Those were the first holes I drilled. So we have the look, we have the lighting. The only thing left that we need is audio. I mean, not microphones, but sound. We need to soundproof this basement. Right now there is a reverb happening in the ceiling of the vents. That will be the final step for this basement studio. And just like that, we turn this ugly basement into a decent looking little video studio space. That being said, if I turn the camera around, it is still a storage room. It is very much a storage room. But hey, maybe the storage will help absorb sound. I don't know. We did have big plans of making like a little retro video game area down here, but I think we're gonna spend more time in making the office upstairs a little bit more fun. That'll be the next little project. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. The big thing here is that I'm trying to just get by with what I have for the most part. Like I picked up a few things, but I'm not going all out and making like this big fancy studio. I'm just getting by with the things that I need. Uh, piece by piece, I'll slowly upgrade this little studio down here, but we do wanna put more effort into the office upstairs. I'm kind of letting Clara take charge on that one but that'll be a future video. It'll be way cooler up there. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for the next one.